in the city. That's next up on the agenda for city leaders. Yeah, but they need the public's help to roll out a new plan to get it all done. Uh, News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has the story. The city of Indianapolis is in the beginning phases of developing its cultural equity plan. They have a call out to request qualified consultants to come in and help them shape it. The plan will identify and celebrate Indy's various cultures, but also identify the gaps to help in areas when it comes to decision making for things like land use and economic development. Indianapolis is home to a melting pot of cultures that continues to grow, and recognizing Indy's history and changing face is what's pushing forward the Department of Metropolitan Development's first ever cultural equity plan. To put it simply, black and brown folks have been here and adding to the cultural fabric of Indianapolis. Lorenzo Giple is the Director of Community Preservation and Urban Design. Indy already has a robust directory of historic places and people, but there's more out there and part of the work is finding it. As communities change over time, right, we have to take some of, uh, we have to take culture and history into accommodation. Um, because if not, then we are losing culturally significant spaces. The initial phase of the cultural equity plan is putting out a request for qualified consultants, people like cultural anthropologists, planners, urban designers, and community members that know the city and can find out more. And other places that we have yet to identify, right? So the history of Indianapolis is so vast that there are lots of the history that we're still acknowledging, one, and also learning about. Gplay says building this database will help direct the city in its long and short-term comprehensive planning. It adds to the diversity of place, right? So we know that diversity in itself, once it's celebrated, it's, it, everyone gains from it.